Okay, so one of the problems that we have been having is people have had multiple laptops so that they have one that they can work off of and then one that's connected to their smart board. We're looking to make it so that we only have one laptop. And I know some people might get upset about that because they want to know how can they get their smart notebook files onto the smart panel. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that using Google Drive. We want to get the files onto the smart panel in case we're absent and so other people, teachers, substitutes, aides, they're going to be able to access those files if you're not in the classroom and they won't need your computer or a computer to do it. So what I'm going to first do is I've created this file and I've saved it into my Google Drive. And a quick, simple way to do that now that our computers are re-imaged is go to File, Save As, and you're going to go to the G Drive, which is Google Drive, and that's sunk right up to your Google Drive. If I click on My Drive, and then I scroll down, you'll see that I created a folder called Smart Notebook right here, and I've already saved this file as the word save. So I'm just gonna save it one more time right here. We'll replace that file, yes. And all it says is, hey, did this file save to the board? This is what I hope to find when I go onto the smart board. I don't know if I'm going to be able to film and touch at the same time, but we're going to give it a shot. So the very first thing that I'm going to do, this is, I am not signed in. This is public. If I want to go ahead and I want to go back to the beginning here get into my Google Drive and download the smart lesson to my smart board. You can see I'm already in Drive. All I did was go to my Google Drive. I signed in and did all of that stuff. And then I'm going to find my smart notebook folder. So I'm going to click it. It's going to open up and there is my file. Now I'm just going to hold and let go and then it gets my menu here, and I want to scroll down to download. And what that's going to do is that now that's going to download it to the board. So you can see saved notebook, uh, save.notebook, and I can open it there, but I want to show you where it is. So I'm just going to get out of this, and you can see that it's saved here. It's got a little notification, but I'm going to go down to files. Press that. And if you're not on downloads, you just click this right here. And instead of board files, you pick downloads. And there's my notebook. If I open it up, it's there. And the great part is, is that I am not signed into the smart board. This is the public board. So no teacher, no substitute will have to use your sign in in order to have your smart book lesson. So using Google Drive and then using your smart board, you're going to download it to the board yourself and then anyone is able to access it and use it. Hey, great job. You made it all the way to the end of the video. I appreciate that and I hope to see you in the next one.